Good morning, pool lovers watching from wherever you may be watching this action from all around the world, and most especially Kenya and South Africa, where you have national interests at heart. We are having day number two of this ongoing Grand Mchana Pool Championship, the Shuja Wa Kenya 128 man competition involving all of the best black ball playing players from all of the top pool playing countries of Africa. We are in Nairobi at Michana Pub and Grill. The game going on is supposed to have been played yesterday, but it will be played today because one of the players, South Africa's Aiden Joseph, got travel issues and their flight to Nairobi from Johannesburg was delayed by about seven hours and he could only arrive at night because of jet lag. It was only fair for the organizers to reschedule the game today. He is taking on Kenya's Mohamed Farouk. They are racing tonight. My name is Peter Chowe. Live commentary will proceed very shortly. In the meantime, the umpire has just rightfully briefed the players to ensure that they do everything right. One of the important points in the briefing is the fact that there is no timeout until at least half of the matches has been played and the timeout can only be maximum five minutes. Aiden Joseph arrived at night. He is looking fresh, not just the way he's playing, but also his body language. He seems well rested and rearing to go. To some of the people who have been watching African Pool for the last five, six years, he starts each and every tournament as the favorite. He's the most accomplished African player of the present generation in terms of accolades. One, either in and around, and around South Africa and beyond. He's the reigning African champion and seed number one in black ball. Nowadays, he's trying in to venture into nine ball. Here he is playing frame number one. By the way, the scoreboard on the top left of your screen, you can clearly see 0-0. Zero, zero. The scores on the left are for Aiden, represented by the South African flag, and on the right for Farouk represented by the Kenyan flag. Aiden wastes no time in taking a very quick lead. He scores 1-0. This match is a special dedication to the South African and the Kenyan following on this page. For the record, the biggest number of people following this page are from South Africa, followed by Kenya then Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, in that order. Therefore, I will prioritize this match because it involves South Africa taking on Kenya. Scores 1-0, Aiden Joseph for South Africa in the lead. 
Thank you for watching. Lukwago Abdallah, Cafe Romosa, Matov Joffrey. Junior Remisham, you are asking, is that not a foul? The umpire says no. And from where I, I viewed, it seems it was a legal foul, a legal shot. And since the umpire was on point, Ken Atlanta Junior, thank you for watching. Collins Kudzaishi Makombe, you are saying you Zimbabwe with there. Yes, Zimbabwe, your guy Eska is taking on Kenneth Odong. We shall be getting updates from that game as this match progresses. This is Muhammad Farouk breaking and reporting yellows. Not so sure so far which ball, which choice of ball he is going for, as if he is going to play the Reds. He closes the table and opens up very good shot. If that shot is anything to go by, he seems a decent player. I have a confession to make. It's my first time to watch Muhammad Farouk, but I'm impressed by the first shot I've seen. That one, a table closing shot, which is an opening to give him an, op an opportunity to attack the match. There he is in continuation of attack, but doesn't give himself a very good white ball for any of the next shots. Now he must manipulate some kind of shot. He seems to be aiming to connect the two reds and try to put one of them in the corner pocket. Simply sets. Eden is a very, very lethal player if you do not take your chances. When he's playing, you have to try to keep your eyes wide open because something, something may just happen. Still 1-0, Eden in the lead. Not a bad shot from Mohamed Farouk. He pots. He aimed to create a big opening of the two reds. Extreme corner pocket of your table. But the opening was not very effective. And it, the more he opens up his game, the more he opens up his opponent's game. And the opponent is not someone whose balls can be left open and expect mercy. That is Eden. Hugo Sarap Misoi, you are welcoming me to Kenya and you are saying I feel the comfort. Yes, I am very, very comfortable and I feel at home courtesy of the beautiful Kenyan people. Look at this. He will draw the white ball backwards in side wide motion. Just like that, he can decide to start with either of those two yellows. The next shot will be even easier for a guy of this level. What is 1-0 is about to become 2-2-0. Two, two, That is my guy William Soko helping with the flipping of the scoreboard. Scores are 2 0. And the two on the side of the South African flag, Aiden in the lead. Joseph Bessie says Aiden the data saver. Andrew Komia, you are greeting us from the UK. Welcome to the stream. Abdallah Lukwago, you say the old man is in trouble. It's still early days, Abdallah. Joshua Bwale, you say the ghost, the ghost is in town. Trish Naido, definitely supporting Eden Joseph. Davis Ahomza is already starting the comparisons between Eden and Caesar. Zwei Lili Nkosi. Thank you for watching Pekos Rashande.
you say Eden is Africa's greatest player ever. About being Africa's greatest player ever, I am not so sure, but for the last 10 years when I've been watching him, there has been not any better player. That one I can tell you without a shade of a doubt. The comparisons are fine. There is a crop of new players who are coming up, being led by Caesar. Also other legendary players from the continent like Victor. The likes of Jerry. But by a big distance, the greatness of a player is not determined by how well he can put how well he can move the white ball around the table but in terms of achievements obtained in the sport and in terms of achievements in the last 10 years there is nobody on the african continent who comes closer to this guy he is having a big money match this monday against caesar the guy who is leading the quest to make a claim away from Aiden as to who is currently the best. I love the competition between these players and how friendly it is, and yet it is very, very serious competition. I want up Dennis, you say Aiden versus Sergio by the round of 32, it is possible. If Ibra wins his opponent in the next round and then Eden wins the next two, the two could clash in the round of last 16. Davis Ahomza, you want Gumede versus Amos? Amos will be taking on Senzo Gumede, yes. Watson Goodman Banda, you say that man's body language is already screaming defeat. He will surprise you. Gakui Joseph watching from around the corner. Chiromi Remy, thank you for watching. Leah B. Jackson, Sami Amani, Kenneth Manyumba. You're asking who won between Ishmael and Niflani. It seems Ishmael has not made the trip. Sorry to say so. That will be unfortunate that we shall be missing that player. I have not seen Ishmael among the South African delegation. Damian Tai, you want a Q stick? We shall talk maybe privately. Cafe Romosa, thank you for watching. Pasco Sinji, this is Eden Joseph on the attack. Look at that white precision. He will have two balls or three on the table, then he brings the white ball where he could start with either of them. At times, he will make you his own spectator when you are his opponent. He is so far making light work of his opponent, taking his time to get enough space as table number one player also takes his shot. Three, zero. And the usual suspect who supports Aiden when Aiden is playing is here making the usual noise, none other than Rivaldo. Given Damian Tai, thank you for appreciation. Davis Ahomza, Fabiso Jakuja, David Chitando. As we enjoy the cool morning weather of central Nairobi, Mohammed Farouk needs something to start happening for him. Otherwise, Eden is not the kind of guy who takes a lead against you and you have too much hope of making a comeback.
at times he is not cautious at all. Eden Joseph is never afraid of opening up the game as long as he is sure that he has potted. He has a lot of belief in himself. That shot will go down as a poor one because it did not achieve any of either an offensive or a defensive intention. It's an opportunity for Muhammad to try and take this frame away from Eden. I would fancy that he plays slow, slows down his opponent's pace, slow down the pace of the game, not to pot every time, try to pack some balls in the pockets as you deny your opponent a good white ball because if your opponent's attacking game is as good as this one you may not stand a chance if you try to run at the same pace with him at times that is the skill that is the trick to beating a player who shoots better than you I'm not convinced with that shot. You do not want to open up a game when your opponent is Aiden. At times, you are playing with fire. Aiden just told me upon arrival that he booked an afternoon air ticket with Randea yesterday. And they were told that the flight will be delayed because they are, it did not have enough passengers to warrant a flight from South Africa to Nairobi via Kigali. That is how he missed the session. He missed arriving at the time he intended to. Eden laughs at himself. Even his number one fan, Rivaldo, laughs at him for a shot. That seems not very convincing. This particular frame, number four, is not being played at a high level. Justin Kabungo, thank you for watching. Collins. Kodzaishi Makombe say Kyle Akalo is South Africa's best in terms of achievement and the guy is so good. I do agree with you in terms of how good he is. The only problem is that on the African scene he has not been participating in the big African competitions. But I do not doubt his quality and I respect him as a legend of African sport, especially in South Africa. I just wish he makes the South Africa team to the AAPA and the World Hebo Championships just in two weeks' time. This is Muhammad fouling when he shouldn't have. And he knows that that foul only speaks of one thing, which is 4-0. Muhammad concedes, but Eden still has the courtesy to put his black even after the opponent concedes. Scores are 4 0. Thank you for watching Chanda. You are waiting for Caesar versus Eden. That will be on 
Monday, but maybe they could face off even in the tournament itself if they continue beating their respective opponents. Davis Ahumza, thank you for watching. Proper Musvameri, you say you are better than the old man. By your, by your name, I think you must be Zimbabwean. Omar Kekamis, you say <laughs> Gordon Tagawa, you say you can handle Muhammad, you don't know what you are talking of. You come to Nairobi and meet him. Lebon Machedi, so you say go, Aiden Joseph, go. Definitely supporting Aiden. Evangelist Seven Y so my request is that we keep the comments only humorous and the poll related. Let's just focus on what unites us, not what divides us with due respect. Sam Jeff Limba, you want me to go in front of the camera and see me? My work, Sam, is intended to make stars of these players. I don't want to take the stardom away from them. It's the sportsmen who are supposed to be stars. So that's why I don't post pictures of myself. That is just me. I'm sorry, but, but if you ever come to a venue where there is a tournament, we shall definitely talk and have fun and everything. Thank you for watching Elliot Jameson, Vincent Lazaro, Collins Macombe, Moteba Selani, Sabiso Masela Selani, always watching from Eswatini. I like the choice of shot this time from Mohammed. I know many of you are on your gadgets laughing at him for being 4 done but at times these players when you play against them they can simply make you look like spectators a guy like Eden at times will just not you play the pool you know because at times every time he gets an opportunity he simply finishes off the game and the opponent may look like a non-player himself but a frame like this one, there is no reason why Muhammad cannot pull one back. Thank you guys for watching. Four games played and we have hit the 1k mark viewing. Yes, so refreshing to see Muhammad Farouk trying to prove you people wrong, especially those of you in the comment section, by trying to pull one game back. If this clearance can be pulled off, he will make the neutrals happier. He has options either to put the black in the double of the cushion or even place snooker or against the cushion in the corner pocket, extreme background of your extreme left of your screen. Oh no. It was a very, very inaccurate shot. And he knows what is about to happen. Just like that, five zero.
Bongani, you say he is proving you right? Okay, he has proved me wrong this time. Ayan Ngoma, you say? Msanzi Eden, the cost, the data saver. Jeffrey Wako says Eden is to eat liver. <laughs> Tituts. You say the way I said, oh no. I know I'm supposed to be neutral, but I have to be frank to you. I really wanted Muhammad Farouk to win that previous game. I really hoped that he wins. He won that previous game because I do not think he will be winning that much, but I don't want him to go out without winning a single game. Gakui Joseph, thank you for watching Rama Omonia. I'm on, I'm on Ice, see a king, Francis Mwanakasala, Victor Smith, Joseph Mozondo, Vincent Lazaro, T Toots, and all of you who are kickstarting your Saturday morning by watching the best of African poll. Also, the guy watching the match in the background wearing green of Zambia is the Zambian legend Moses Mafia. Not an accurate shot for from Eden. He doesn't have any clean bolt pot. If Eden can lose at least one frame in this match, I will be a happy guy. I'm telling you the fact. Mike Pasio asking if these are knockouts. The answer is yes. Look at this. The guy can manipulate the cue ball around five balls while ensuring that the white ball does not contact with any of them because if it did, he wouldn't have gotten the white ball he wanted. That is nothing short of marvelous from this guy. He seemingly snookers himself. Maybe he can see a, a piece, a part of the black and can put in the center pocket on the right. And yet he does put. I don't know what my friend Farouk can do to win at least one frame. It is a race to seven. If Farouk is to win any frame in this match, it must be the next frame.
It will have to be non-stop live streaming today on this page even more than yesterday. And if it gets too tense, at times I will have to try and do two live streams at the same time. At times it is more than because we we are around four streamers in the area and yet there are six tables so at times when i realize a crucial game which is not being streamed by any of the four of us i will be prompted to do two streams if that happens anyway it looks like the dying moments of this match between aiden and farouk Farouk fails to close the table, fails to port, but at least doesn't fail to leave himself with another chance. Table is still open. He closes the table playing the reds, by the way, as a correction in black ball, the free shot, the first shot when the player has two shots, does not close the table. Kenneth Odong of Uganda leads 4-2 against Eska of Zimbabwe, while Damian, the Briton, leads, has won 9-2 against Kenya's Bamboo Stick. Those are the updates from some of the other games. As Farouk fouls, and you think that if open Eden could play one hard shot to open up the game and then see of his opponent at times this spot is not fair you sympathize, sympathize with farouk who had to be patient with aiden yesterday with all his travel issues and arriving late had to wait What is happening is the exit moment for Farouk in this competition. It is very predictable what can happen to you when you miss and foul against Aiden. Very, very predictable. Yes, Aiden Snuckers himself. It is the all important moment Farouk needed to try and get an opportunity to win at least one frame. Maybe not, because Aiden finds the angle. But Farouk at least has a chance to play. Even the defense Farouk attempted to didn't come off. A little unluckily as the white ball's movement was intercepted by the red and the Aiden sees him off. Thank you for the audience, ladies and gentlemen. It was spe specifically a dedicated live stream to the following of this page who are South African and the Kenyan respectively and have the biggest number on this page. The majority are South African followed by Kenyan, then Ugandan, Zambian and Zimbabwean in that order. Thank you guys for always watching and following and commenting and sharing. You give the spot the all necessary publicity it needs and you make me as a person feel relevant final score seven for eden and zero for farouk we shall be back with the next stream